Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of my 2k rating journey to the most balanced server in our private servers community, Procession. Now, Procession decided to reset the rating, so I need to start from the very, very beginning, which was not very fucking nice. But anyways, that doesn't matter. We, If I need to do 2k rating and do all over it again, um, it is what it is. I have to do what I have to do. So... We have new stuff into Project Ascension, by the way, for those of you that doesn't know. And this coming from the vendor. We have enchantments and also weapons. Now, in the progression tree, we didn't have them. Now we have them and they look particularly more better than the ones that I was having before. And the best thing about it is that you need you don't need to be 2k rating to actually gather them. You just need to be on the halfway through it, which is 1400. And why I say 1400 is the halfway? Well, at the beginning, you're going to have a very, very good time. And then once you got to the 1400, to the 2K, it comes the harder part. For such a balanced server as this one, thanks God that those weapons are 1400 rating, because many people will going to struggle if they're like previous seasons, 2K that you need to actually gather the, the, the weapon. Um, you have also off pieces. You have enchantments. Wow, something that actually bothers me right now, it's we can have increased nature spell power, holy spell power for all the holy paladins, which are very broken, by the way, and even increased healing power and arcane power, but there is no shadow damage increased. What the fucking coincidence that I'm going to play a shadow build. This is the changes in a way. That's not all the changes right uh, this is just a small portion of the changes or i don't even know if it's a small portion i just know that this is the changes the whole rating is down to zero and we need to start the whole thing over and over again if you're new to the server and try pvp now it's not the best time for you to grind because you see all of these people here that are start grinding those guys was previously 2k rating and above which means that whatever you're going to do, you're going to be squashed to fucking pieces. And um, yeah, that's the basically the reality. And do you know why? Because the random generation system with abilities, it's so fucking poor that you need to probably spend four to 700 cards to get some build going into the 2K rating spectrum. All right, because this game, it's a little bit like a lottery ticket. You get a lottery ticket and you're trying your best. Hey, Please give me what I need to actually progress in this game. Just wait a little bit. L wait like one to two to three days. So all of these grinders over here can just do <laughs> their rating. So you can enjoy your PvP battles instead of somebody owning you and you can't actually do shit. Alright you guys, if you're a new player to Project Ascension and you want to play Warrior or anything that related to physical attacks, you choose the wrong server, that's for sure. Uh, I recommend you to go Intelligence because as we can see, Project Ascension didn't discover it for 8 seasons that a player who can heal himself have never ending mana, all the CCs and on top of it doing more damage than you, <laughs> it's ridiculously broken let's give you an example if if you're a melee your damage is going to be reduced by 25 percent if you do a critical strike you're gonna it's gonna be reduced by another 25 which makes it 50. most of the players have around 17 resilience rating this is if you have pretty decent gear so this is another 17 mm -hmm. reduced damage and on top of it you have armor so your physical damage is going to be reduces to pieces you are not doing a lot of physical damage. If we compare it to the players who use spell power, let's say Shadow Bolters, right? So Shadow Bolt have spell coefficient of 50%, which means that if you have 2k spell power, half of it will apply to every single Shadow Bolt. We have to agree that Shadow Bolts in particular are pretty, pretty broken because they have a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff that can increase the damage of them and um, yeah, they can hit for a lot ridiculously amount of damage. Now, while I'm showing those videos, this is a quick example of how ridiculous it is in Project Ascension in arenas if you are a melee build. You're not, you're not only going to do a lot, a lot less damage than your opponent if he's a caster, but on top of it, you will be not able to catch them up at all. And even if you catch them out, 
this game have bubbles, right? You can have bubble, you can have damage reduction, you can have all of that jazz. And even if you do damage to them, they can easily CC you out, you know, uh, run away like this guy is doing, heal up and do the same shenanigans once again. So Project Ascension, I don't know what you're going to do, but if you don't do something, nobody's going to play as a melee. And this is very much discrimination because you guys can't do the fucking thing. You can't do the right thing. You can't make that heals are not that powerful for the intelligence player, uh, intelligence gear, you know. And you guys suck at your job. <laughs> this is this is what I'm gonna say. Oh, and yeah, something else. Procession thinks that if it's very difficult for you to gather, to grind the cards that you want to actually play, um, you're going to spend more time playing the game, uh, which is very, very actually laughable because you have to understand that if you want actually particularly very, very powerful build, you have to spend absolutely enormous amount of time doing stuff that you don't enjoy instead of getting to the build that you want and enjoy the build that you want to play and if you somehow manage to grind those cards by coincidence because this is as i said at the beginning of the uh, of the video a lottery ticket right there is other builds that are going to beat your ass because the game is in, in particularly very balanced and they still are going to have advantage of you that doesn't mean that you're not going to have advantage of other builds right but the whole point is that we don't have some kind of a line that you're going to say all right so this build if play against this build everything it's skill and not just because this particular spell have 20 percent more qu spell coefficient than this particular spell which in my opinion it's absolutely stupid Alright guys, I know that I sound like I'm giving up on life, but it's absolutely the opposite. Yes, my rating was absolutely demolished. Uh, people was absolutely owning me in, in arenas the, the past couple of days. On top of it, all of the cards that I've been farming, they never actually produce the results that I wanted to see, which is completely garbage. And on top of it, I got everything that I wanted from Hoplite build and was absolutely owned by a CC gods because Project Ascension didn't discover how to fix their game. So yeah, we're just gonna deal with all of this bullshit and keep on going to the 2k rating. It's simple as that. And once I got this one, I'm forgetting about Project Ascension for a very, very, very long time. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, this video it's gonna go till the way it go no pvp battles nothing that me showing off um so yeah but see you in the next video and um take uh, take care and peace or um yeah bye